Welcome, GeoShred users. This is a video tutorial to help you get started with GeoShred. We're going to do an overview of the performance area as well as its controls. Then we'll take a look at the preset editor, which can be used to create your own presets. After that, we'll look at the control surface editor, which will allow you to create a small palette of expressive controls to use when performing. Along the way, we'll show a simple example showing how you can create your own preset. Next, the performance area. The performance keyboard in GeoShred is an isomorphic keyboard laid out much like a guitar. There are six strings and the strings are tuned in perfect force. You can play chords or lead line melodies. In the upper left, you'll find the octave flipper, which allows you to switch between different octaves. The auto octave feature allows you to fly through octave registers without having to change your finger positions. You can totally shred using just a few keys. The 2D expression pad allows you to control two different controllers at the same time. In this case, feedback and amplifier distance can be controlled from the expression pad so that you can express the sweet spots of a feedback distortion guitar model. The performance controls are a part of the design of each preset. They are exported to the performance area using the control surface editor. Under the main menu, you'll find file operations and access for the editors. The question mark will bring up some sticky notes that explain what some of the controls do. The preset flipper will allow you to flip back and forth between presets in the current set list. There is a drop down that will allow you to choose any preset. You can also choose different set lists with the set list drop down. Here are a few example presets. Next, the preset editor. The preset editor is used to edit new and existing presets. In this case, we'll create a new preset. The edit button can be used to insert, delete, or reorder effects in the preset's effect chain. Tapping on the plus icon will bring up a list of effects that you can add to your preset. As an example, we will choose a phaser, a reverb, and an echo. The effects 
can be reordered with a long press and a drag. The preset can be saved with the save button. Tapping on an effect icon will bring up a full size effect with interactive knobs that can be used for voicing. An effect in the chain may be disabled by tapping on its abbreviated name. Tapping on the CPU button will display the compute cost of each effect unit as well as the total compute cost. Next, the control surface editor. Control Surface Editor can be used to place specific controls from your preset in the performance area so that you can use them for expression during your performance. Tapping on the green plus icon will bring up a browser that will allow you to find every controller on every effect in your preset. You can select the control that you're interested in and you can choose what type of UI element will be displayed in the performance area. Controls can also be deleted by tapping the red X and can be reordered with a long press and a drag. <laughs> 